immigration judge's decision is now being awaited in the unusual case of Rene Lima Marin. He's the man who got out of prison 90 years early. He started a new life, then was pardoned by the governor. CBS4 investigator Rick Sounder joins us live from immigration court where a new charge has been filed against and argued in this case. Well, Karen, a state judge previously found that Lehman Marine should be released, and the governor issued a pardon. Now, in these court documents, the federal government is saying it was a firearms related offense, and therefore, he should be deported. Sentenced to 98 years in prison, Rene Lima Marine got a new lease on life when released decades early by mistake. But his freedom was short circuited when immigration authorities revealed he was up for deportation to his native Cuba. Governor Hickenlooper then pardoned Lima Marine for his crimes. We're arguing that, uh, that Mr. Lima Marine is not removable, that his uh, convictions, which he was pardoned for, can no longer provide a basis of removability. Lima Marine was convicted in 2000 of kidnapping, burglary, and robbery in the holdup of a video store. After the governor's pardon, immigration authorities filed a new deportable claim of a firearms violation for that crime. Jason Kasparic, the man who was the victim in these photos, says it sure was. Even though Lima Marine wasn't the one holding the rifle here, he said he could have lost his life. He's got the gun held in my head and asking me, you know, if I let you, you know, if I let you live, what is the last thing you want to see? Lima Marine's wife, Jasmine, told us their son's birthday is coming up soon, and his wish is for his father to come home. He has a tremendous amount of faith. He's still um, he's still doing Bible studies and uh, and holding sessions with uh, with other detainees at the detention center in Aurora. Lima Marin's wife told us today that she is ready for this nightmare to be over. And even if a ruling does go against him in immigration court, his attorneys are hoping for his release pending the outcome of an appeal. Live in downtown Denver, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.